I'm going to demonstrate the touchscreen system using Apple CarPlay on this 108 top collection. You'll know if the 108 you're looking at has CarPlay and Android Auto because of this voice prompt button here on the touchscreen. This denotes a difference in the touchscreen system from the previous version of the 108. Now this particular car is the PT72, but the newest version. So it also has a stop start system, which we can see the button to turn that on and off here. So I'm going to need to dip the clutch on the car in order to start it. Once I've done that, I'm going to plug in my iPhone using the manufacturer's iPhone cable here. And that plugs in just underneath into the regular USB port. My phone's unlocked, so CarPlay will open automatically. It will allow you to take care of lots of different jobs and functions using either Siri on your phone, or of course, the voice prompt button here. So an example using the voice prompt button would be, text dad. What do you want to say? Hello dad. Full stop. How are you? Question mark. Your message to dad says hello dad. How are you? Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. I can also do the same thing with WhatsApp, for example, using the voice command. So if I say, hey Siri, WhatsApp Andrew Hodges. What do you want to say? Hello, Andrew, full stop. How are you, question mark? Your WhatsApp message to Andrew says, hello, Andrew, how are you? Ready to send it? Send. Okay, it's sent. This will also allow you to interact with Google Maps if you have the app installed, as you can see that I do here, or Apple Maps. So I'm going to try using this button here again on the car instead of Hey Siri. In Google Maps, navigate to Grand Garage, Margate. Getting directions to Grand Garage using Google Maps. It's as easy as that. I would then just press go on the touch screen. By pressing this button here, it will show me the settings on my phone. Lots of different things that we can look at this way. One of my favorite things to use in the car is Audible, which is at the top here for spoken books. But you'll also see that you can have Spotify where you can search for playlists and things as well. Or of course, if you subscribe, then you have your preset music on your phone, anything you might have stored there, plus also Apple Music. So let me give you an example of the music. Hey Siri. Play Queen from Apple Music. Sure thing, now playing Queen. Now I don't have any music stored on my phone, so this is all from the cloud. And therefore it does use data, but of course if you've got music downloaded, then it will just play from the memory on your phone. It really is that simple to use. 